In this box is my most wanted manga item of all time. Let's take a look. But firstly, hi. I hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful holiday season. And as I do every year, I've purchased myself a little gift. A couple of years ago, I bought myself the PS5. And last year, I bought myself some awesome new manga. But this year, I've bought something extra special. If you didn't know already, my favorite manga series is Berserk. And there's an item that's currently exclusive to Japan that I really wanted to own in my collection. And that item is the artwork of Berserk. Berserk. This art book was an exclusive release to the Kentaro Miura exhibition that was held in Japan after his passing. I have wanted it ever since. I don't even know what's contained inside, but today I'm going to show you. But that wasn't the only thing I bought myself. I also decided to purchase myself a bit of manga history, a bit of Berserk history. And that is a very special issue of Young Animal, the issue that contains chapter 364 of Berserk. Berserk, which, if you weren't aware, is Kintaro Miura's final chapter. This is the issue of Young Animal with Kintaro Miura's final Berserk chapter contained within its pages. This literally blows me away. And it also came with this messages to Kintaro Miura booklet and an awesome poster that I'm going to show you. So without further ado, let's go on over to the table and get a closer look. Okay, so the first thing I want to check out is this edition of Young Animal magazine, which is just a part of Berserk history that I now own. We'll have a look at the back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, this is chapter 364 of Berserk which is Kintaro Miura's last chapter. And they actually went all out with this. I have already had a look, but they went all out. They did some Berserk posters, which are just some of the like most well-known pieces of art, first of all, but also the volume covers, at least in the English release. I like this one. I'm like, that one isn't, but that one's a really cool shot as well. We've got Guts fighting Zod there with Griffith in the background. Uh, Guts on a horse from the Golden Age arc. Some really awesome shots of Guts and Griffith. This one is amazing an amazing two panel spread of them both just looking dope some more golden age stuff i wish i could somehow get all of these out of this magazine and just frame all of them the eclipse there guts fighting mogus Mosgus, whatever the Donny's name is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the art book's gonna have a lot of these in. I'm hoping it's not all of these, but and then uh, some more there. And then this is um, Kentaro Miura's other series. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It might be Giganto Machia, but I don't think it's that one. I think it's the, the other one that he starred. And then we're gonna move into the actual panels. Massive spoilers for Berserk here, but we're gonna have a look through the panels themselves. Do not look at this if you're not up to date with Berserk. And then there's like the, the shot of Guts. The actual panels themselves look so cool in this magazine. They're obviously way bigger than the normal manga volumes, which I just think is amazing. And the, the paper quality is that of like a newspaper or like quite a thin manga page. But yeah, this is really freaking cool to see it like in its original printing. I feel like the quality of the art looks better here than it does in the, in the other volumes. I still don't know whether I want to upgrade to the deluxe editions of Berserk just to have it in this bigger size but these pages here are so cool obviously i can't read it it's in japanese so i can't read it but i already know what happens in this chapter i've read this chapter already it's an amazing way in my opinion to send berserk off if they were to finish it at this chapter which obviously they haven't yeah i just think it's such an amazing end to kentaro miura's part of the story it's this kind of idea of calm before the storm basically and we get the the big reveal of who the moonlight child is which is really cool and we have guts kind of struggling with his sword this is actually the last time we see him really wield the sword and then obviously the moonlight child in the little berserker armor he's so cute and this is the the kind of the real calm and then we have Kaskar realizing who the moonlight child is what makes up the moonlight child at least this panel here looks so good so freaking good and then we have obviously guts looking at the moonlight child as he changes into griffith and then this panel here again just beautiful i wish they'd release this panel without the text amazing and that's the end of berserk at that point it was the end of berserk no one knew whether this was going to continue no one had any idea and then there's some messages there's actually a message here in english it's a really touching message um 
from the young animal team. Then we turn the page again and now is the rest of the volume is kind of or all the other stuff that's in young animal. I'm not going to flick through it because a lot of it is very adult. For example, this page that I've just opened up has a naked lady on it. And so does that one. Okay, let's, you've just proved my point. Thank you so much. I don't know any other series in here, but then if we go all the way to the back, we get some more Berserk stuff. So there's again, Guts and Griffith. Some more volume covers. Skull Knight, this one, which is again, one of the best volume covers that Berserk ever come up with. It's amazing. And then uh, Guts versus Zod. The Moonlight Child and Casca. The Berserker armor. The little crew. Isidro, Ivalu. Lyria. And then this one is another just a beautiful bit of art. Really kind of summarizing what Berserk is. This family that Guts has created and... Yeah, I love I love this bit of art. I think it's so touching. God, I want some of these panels so bad to be able to frame them. I might try and buy myself another edition of this uh, just to have a look, pull the posters out, but I don't know. So we'll move that over to the side and quickly just have a look at the, the poster. I'm not going to be able to get this in full view. As you can see, this is uh, Zod and Guts. And this is going to be framed in my manga room shortly. But yeah, that that is... <laughs> Just a amazing, amazing bit of art there. And then on the back, there's some kind of interesting panels um, from Berserk. If I can get a hold of another copy of this Young Animal issue, I am going to frame both sides of the poster. Another really cool thing that it came with was this Messages to Kentaro Miura booklet. It's got some damage at the top, unfortunately, but I imported this from Japan. So there was always going to be some damage, but this is basically a book of messages from fans and his colleagues and other people that knew him and just going over kind of what he meant to them. It's a in Japanese but I'd love to see a translation of it and it has some wonderful artwork kind of very different style to Berserk. And one of these in here is actually from Koji Mori, who is the current runner of Berserk. This this particular artwork is woof. Wow. So cool. But yeah, one of these is uh, his good friend Koji Mori, who now runs the Berserk kind of continuation. There's some other cool stuff there. Yeah, I'd love to be able to see a translation of this or to one day be able to read it myself. There's just such cool stuff in this in this little thing. Again, like the the iron sword, the iron sword, the dragon slayer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this last bit is Koji Mori just talking about Kintaro Miura. It's like basically a little manga um, depicting it. I'm pretty sure this is Miura and Mori together. And then that's Miura's office at the end, and a little puck with Betchi on there. But yeah, that is just honestly one of the coolest things that I own in my entire collection. It's just a piece of Berserk history. But the main thing I purchased was this artwork of Berserk, which is a hardcover art book that was released exclusively at the exhibition. This is the only place you could have got it from at this current point in time. I imported it over. It wasn't cheap. The whole bundle I got was £120. I'm more than happy to own this because it's just freaking awesome. And I'm going to crack it open. That's probably a mistake in regards to worth. I, I want to look at it because that's why I've purchased it. I've purchased it for myself. I've just lost all the value. And if they ever don't release this again, this is probably going to be one of the most expensive things uh, I own because of how important it is. Oh, we'll open it anyway. This video is going to be super long, but it means so much to me that we're just going to do it anyway. The quality of the book, first of all, really nice. Like a really nice matte front. The, the wording is slightly slightly embossed on there. It just feels premium, premium. And there is going to be a space for this to go. I haven't purchased the place where it's going to go yet, but all will make sense soon. Um, I don't know how I'm going to open this and really get to show you because it is brand new and I don't want to break it. Okay, so we're going to have a flick through. I'm not going to show every single page because there's a lot of pages. Here we go. Characters in Berserk interview with Kentaro Miura cover art collection. Page 214, 218, 224. So what are all the other pages? I want to be really careful with this because it was very expensive. Okay, to start, this is this is really freaking cool. I thought every single one was going to be like an A4 spread. I'm so glad that it's not. And I have never seen the contents of this book. Um, obviously, that's, that's Guts there. The contents of this book are brand new to me and oh, just so excited. Okay, so we've got 
We got like important panels. Got his story. We got some black and white stuff. The color stuff is really cool to see because obviously we've never we've never seen that. Oh, just what a panel! I'm hoping there is a particular panel in here that at the start of this was one of my favorite panels. The, those ones are very close to it, but but not quite. Griffith, sorry, leaning over guts there. Wow, guts riding his horse. These are this is. Woof. Wow, that is insane. This is beyond oh one of my favorite panels. Oh, this is this is crazy. I'm kind of speechless. One that I own this and two that I get to experience this in person. I kind of want to go through every single page. I, I might just do it. That is crazy. The the quality of the art. Is just it's something I love so much about Berserk, but this this like format, this size is is amazing to see. Wow. The battle before Guts leaves the band of the hawk and basically kickstarts okay, whoa. <laughs> basically kickstarts uh, the entire story. That one is getting covered by my hand. I don't know how I'm gonna change this page. You know what, we'll just blur it. That one's very inappropriate. I'm kind of grossed out that that's in there. The first appearance of Skull Knight. So some of these were included in the other, the final edition of Young Animal. I really hope one day we we get to see the, I've just realized there was, there was Booba on that one as well. It's gonna have a lot of blurring in it, I feel. The, <laughs> I hope one day we get to see the exhibition in the West, in the UK or, or America's fine too, or even anywhere in Europe. Like I will travel, I will travel to go and see it. This right here, one of my favorite quotes in all of Berserk. Um, I think it goes along the lines of only the the sound of the wind announced the end of the fight. And that quote, obviously, you know, if I've misremembered that, that's just really embarrassing. But that quote means a lot to me in my personal life uh, when I read it for the first time. It was an important moment. And yeah, that, that panel is amazing panel. Some more here. I could go, I feel like I could go through this for hours. A little bit weird, that's Kaskar kind of after the Golden Age, I think. No, it's not. It's got people in the background too. Oh, fair enough. I love these, these kind of behind the scenes looks at the Golden Age. Like, this is stuff we've never seen before. This isn't in the story. This is the Band of the Hawk kind of helping people and inspiring people. That's really cool to see. I love, I love this book. It's amazing. It's showing like insight into things that we've never seen before. Now we're popping into the eclipse, which is a moment. <laughs> Probably one of the standout moments in Berserk, especially from the start. That's the moment in uh, the Black Swordsman arc where Guts is remembering his friend and then the absolute carnage of the reality of their friendship. Wow. Okay, that's vastly inappropriate. We uh let's let's skip through some of these. <laughs> Kaskar after the golden age, the eclipse, Guts his rage, Guts kind of walking into a darkness as he leaves at the end of the golden age arc. And we've got some kind of bits and pieces in between. Another amazing panel. One of my favorite YouTubers, Mugen, actually talked about this panel in one of his videos. Very cool. Guts just piping demons. I like how this, the, the book itself is telling the story of Berserk, but it's doing it in chronological order, somewhat. It's adding stuff as well. It's, it's kind of telling this story in order. Another one of my favorite panels. This panel right here might be getting tattooed at some point because ugh, I just love it. I feel like it means so much to the story. I can't wait to have to blur out everything. This is going to be great. Father Mosgus getting absolutely annihilated. Guts there feeling. He feeling emotions. And the return of Griffith protected by Zod. Some color bits here that we've never seen before. I don't even know what this is. Another image of Guts there. That's an amazing image. Loads of little snippets. I'm really enjoying the ones that we haven't seen before. Like these kind of brand new panels. Concept art sort of vibe. Griffith. 
like behind the scenes look at what the characters do off screen because we see so much of what they do on screen and not so much the rest of it obviously his first time wearing the berserker armor before it goes wolf mode I'm looking forward, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they do the beach scene. I think we might have missed it. There's also no... This one. This one is amazing. I don't remember that being in the manga, but if it was, then I'm just dead wrong. But that one is so cool. They haven't... They didn't do Hill of Swords as one of the concept arts. Unless I'm skipping pages by accident. It didn't look like they did Hill of Swords, which is kind of disappointing. That's another, like, really important scene. And then we got the beach scene, and Guts thinking about it, and the tiger. They didn't do the scene on the beach either, where, um, the one that I pointed out in the magazine, the last one. Wow, that that's another one of my favorite panels. That's just... It kind of just explains the wonder of the world. Kind of the cultural side of Berserk when they introduced Ganishka. That was very cool. And then we've got all of the new Band of the Hawk. Again, some of the coolest designs um, in the new Band of the Hawk. And now we're jumping into the boat arc. Moonlight Boy. Oh, they did do that, that panel. That's very cool. They did this one too, which is another amazing panel. They're kind of preceding a very important event. And I assume this next couple is going to be... Oh, that's cool. I thought they might have done the really weird panels of when the two worlds kind of cross over to each other. Um, yeah, I think I think some important ones have been missed. Uh, this is probably one of the most famous Berserk panels. It's even on the front of this art book. I think they have missed some some really awesome panels, which is a shame. But how can I fault this? Because this is one of the coolest things I own in my collection. And then kind of Casca's rebirths. This panel here, literally. Literally brought me to tears. I can't lie. First time I've ever cried at a manga. Berserk did that. Berserk did that well and truly. It got close many times, but that reunite reunition? The guts and Casca reuniting scene. They didn't really reunite, but you know what I mean. And then a load of words, I assume, the last couple of pages. And then we've got all of the, uh, all of the volume covers. And when they released, which is crazy, because I read all of Berserk last year, this year, um, 2022, apart from the first couple of volumes. So to see, like, how old some of the stuff is, like, 98 in here, we've got 2013 was kind of when the boat arc, because that's not the boat arc, I don't think. 2009 there, crazy how quickly I kind of rushed through it. 2017, 2018, and yeah. There you have it, the artwork of Berserk. I know that was a bit of a deep dive. I think it deserved it because it's such a cool item and I wanted to get my first impressions of actually opening up and seeing what it's like. I might edit it down, who knows? But yeah, that's it. Those are the things that I bought myself and kind of taken aback. So, there you have it. I literally could not have been more excited when I received this in the post. It's been something I've wanted ever since I finished Berserk. And to own a bit of Berserk history just means the world to me. And that's why I thought it was the perfect gift for myself. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed this look into one of the most awesome bits of Berserk memorabilia that exists. And if you have, as always, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted every single time that I upload. Let me know what you thought of this art book or if you're planning to buy anything extra special for yourself this Christmas. I hope every single one of you has an absolutely amazing holiday season and I will see you guys in the new year. Bye bye.